What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing F. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We actually have, we actually have a live hit. Okay, so, okay, this is actually working out really well. Since there's a live hit going on, it'll give me a second to explain uh, what this war is. So this is Fortune Steel versus Reddit Elefino. This is the potluck uh, matchup from the weekend, and we decided to do something fun just kind of switch things up a little bit as far as how we do just a traditional war since it's a bye week uh, kind of thing so we made it to where this is an all lalo war or, or i guess you could say all hound war. yeah i guess it would be all lalo um so the i mean the rules aren't crazy the rule is the one rule is every attack has to include at least one lava hound uh, so definitely very positive. It's very funny watching because we have some guys, uh, you know, just probably in your clan, there's some guys who only hit air and then you're going to have a bunch of guys who only do ground. So it was really funny watching some of the all ground guys using Lalo based attacks. Um, but yeah, I already have uh, the, well, how many is it going to be? We're going to show you guys four Town Hall 9s and we're going to show you guys one Town Hall 10. This charge is actually going really well. This will look good as long as he can nail this Lalo. Look, Queen is still up. Still has ability, too. This, yeah, this is looking really, really nice. Um, I actually picked up a 10v10 this war, so we'll definitely check that one out. We might be getting 10v10 right here. Pop ability just in time. This is looking really good. He still has four haste spells. And did we just catch a 10v10 live? Okay, Inferno Tower is going to take the Queen out. He has a heal spell. One hand drop that has two more haste spells. Um, can he get through this wizard tower? The way these, um, the way the balloons pathed were kind of shitty, but I think he's going to get this if he can get that expo down. Um, they're all pretty much, oh my god, at the last second. That was freaking insane. GG to Zongo. And this is another good example. Zongo's usually an all uh, ground attacker. I mean, he always hits a ground attack. Or, or, or ground style attacks. Uh, very rarely does he do an air attack, but did a freaking epic queen charge Lalo and end up getting that three star. Is he gonna run out of, I don't think he's gonna run out of time. Is this gonna be, is this gonna be time? Oh no. That is absolutely terrible. Did he, I don't think he brought enough cleanup. He's got his minions stuck on the king right there. This is, is this going to be a time fail? He has seven seconds. And he has that barracks over there at nine o'clock. Damn, that freaking look at that! And he had all kinds of troops up still too. Ninety-nine percent. Damn. Well, very very nice try to Zongo. Wasn't even planning um, to do that. Obviously, it was a live attack. So we're gonna start off down here at number thirty. Like I said, I'm gonna show you guys four Talon nine attacks, and I'm gonna show you guys um, my ten v ten triple. So definitely stay tuned for that. So the first one, I mean, check this out, guys. 25, 25 heroes. We know that baby heroes can three-star max Town Hall 9s. Uh, usually when it's something like Lalo, as long as your troops are all uh, max Town Hall 9 level. Um, you know, even, even with 20, 20 heroes, you can get pretty far uh, just suiciding your heroes, which is exactly what Lonely Ranger is doing up here at the top. Already took out a couple air targeting defenses. And with 30 30 heroes, he probably would have gotten that queen. But if you guys look down at the troop bar, he does have a max skeleton spell that he is bringing. So, right here, starting off the Lalo over here on the far right hand side, followed, uh, dropping down three haste, uh, has that third haste down there, covering that mortar to push all those loons into the wizard tower and the archer tower. Uh, we have the Hounds tanking the air defenses inside of the core. Rage spell down. Skelly is going to take out Queen, no problem. And uh, just has drops another Rage spell for all the air targeting defenses on the back end. We have the Expo. We have the Archer Tower. We have that air defense. And uh, he still has two unpopped Hounds. And was this, so, yeah, and even a troll, even a troll Tesla down there at six o'clock, not going to matter. Even with the unpopped Hounds, um, the hound that did pop look at all those pups uh, helping clean up this base all of the minions and again even with the troll tesla not going to stop this 25 25 town hall 9 wrecking this base 
Huge shout to Lone, uh, Lonely Ranger with, uh, I believe he got a, a 99 six pack this war as well. Okay, so next up, and I'm gonna show you guys a couple different variations. So that was our Sui. I'm gonna show you guys a Queen Charge. I'm gonna show you guys two insane Kill Squad uh, Lalos. And then I'm gonna show you guys um, my attack. So again, definitely stay tuned for that. So JS going in on Ninja Yama. I'm gonna be doing a Queen Charge. What he wants to do is enter in this compartment right here where those two air defenses are, where he's gonna, where he wants to pick up the two air defenses and, of course, uh, take down the enemy queen. Um, and there is a Tesla farm right here, so he goes ahead and starts his Kiwi Walk, not only to help funnel the queen, um, you know, to make sure she goes in that compartment, but to help uh, take out these Teslas as well. So we have wall breakers down. They're gonna go ahead and get that wall pop, no problem. Uh, King uh, took out that last Tesla and he's just gonna clear some more of this trash. CC is out. A couple of the archers went towards the King uh, and a few more archers went towards the Queen, uh, but he did not panic. He made sure he was gonna be nice and patient with that poison spell. So there it goes. And not only did it help slow down the enemy Queen, but it's gonna help slow down and take out the baby dragon and the witch that came out of this clan castle. But as you guys see, all the objectives inside that compartment were taken care of. The two air defenses, the expo, the queen, and the uh, enemy queen, <coughs> excuse me, are all down. So here we go. Lalo starting off at the top right here, just dropping a couple loons down on each of these defenses, followed by two hay spells, keeping those loons nice and close to those lava hounds. And he did bring a maxed hound in the clan castle. Another haste build down over at nine o'clock. And he still has one more rage. Uh, that's what's nice about this attack is if you don't need to use it for your queen, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. In the event that you don't need to use that rage on your queen, you can always um, opt to use that additional rage for the Lalo, uh, which is what JS did on this base. So very, very nice attack and getting that three star. So now we'll show you guys. So we saw the Sui. We saw the Queen Charge. Now we're going to show you guys two of the Kill Squad based attacks. And wait until you guys see this one. Okay. Yeah, that's another UA. Uh, number 20. Yes, number 25. Wait till you guys see this attack. Very, very uh, interesting attack coming from Adam. So it's going to be a CB entry. But if you look down at the troop bar, check it out. Uh, Adam's bringing seven Valkyries to this attack. He's got one wizard up there at the top, uh, just trying to set this funnel. Uh, queen behind the golem, as he was tanking both of those Teslas. He went and took out that camp, just to make sure that those Valkyries and these heroes do not go shopping. Uh, so he already funneled the top part, so notice the Valkyries are going to go from the pump to the mind. And even though the Valkyries could have one-shotted, uh, or maybe not one-shotted, but took out this wall, went ahead to bring opted to bring in wall breakers just to get them in to this base that much sooner jump spell opening up the other three compartments uh so incredible value from that jump spell and these valkyries under rage literally tear through uh this top compartment up here is gonna be starting his lalo down here at the bottom uh so he already wiped out two air defenses already took out the enemy cc and the enemy queen and he's going to be dropping down uh, the uh, Hound to tank those two Wizard Towers and the Archer Tower. Followed by the Haste goes in and drops down his uh, CC Hound. He did bring a Max Hound uh, to this attack. Uh, next Haste spell is down. Uh, Loon's kind of tied up on that Expo. Uh, but they pretty much two-shot it, no problem. And to, just to keep this Lalo nice and tight, drops down a couple more Loons to take out that Archer Tower. Uh, so the Loon's pathing uh, goes from the Expo to these two Wizard, or to the Wizard Tower and the Archer Tower. And check that out, guys. Even swagging a heal spell on this attack. A beautiful hit by Adam, who also six packed this war. So our, our air guys definitely uh, shine this war. Our ground guys, not so much. Uh, some, of these, some of those attacks were freaking hilarious. All right, guys, another guy who six-packed this war was Mac, and both of his attacks were also using uh, CB Lalo. So he's starting his golem up here, uh, going to be anchoring that golem on that mortar, dropping down three wizards to the left and just a couple wizards to the right of that golem. 
Queen up there at 12 o'clock, and he's going to be bringing uh, Wall Breakers, a Jump, and a Rage spell for uh, this Kill Squad. And he also has Bowlers in the CC. Uh, like I said, we saw all different kinds of variations for uh, Air Attacks. Uh, we even had some Dragon Attacks too, but I definitely wanted to stick with uh, the more traditional style uh, Lalo base attacks. But we did have a couple of nice uh, Dragon Attacks this war. Attack, I mean, like you guys just saw with Adams bring uh, Valkyries into Kill Squad. We had a couple uh, Shattered Kill Squad uh, Lalos. Uh, and this one, we're bringing uh, Bowlers in the CC. So Lalo's going to be starting over here at 9, dropping in on that haste uh, as the Hounds are traveling pretty far in front of the Loons. Um, but with only the air defenses hitting those Lava Hounds, he's got all kinds of Loons still up. Still has a haste spell and a heal spell left to deploy and the the only other defenses left are these guys right here but with that heal spell no doubt is mac able to get through this base beautiful beautiful attack uh getting it done bringing archers for those builder huts uh got clean up down nice and early and check that out even some of his bowlers end up surviving that's when you know you had a solid kill squad um when your kill squad ends up surviving the entire attack uh but beautiful attack by mac now we'll go ahead and check out uh, the one and only 10v10, like we saw to kick off this video, a 99% from Zongo. So, so close. We'll definitely get that one cleaned up. We'll go ahead and check out my hit on number 14. And again, being a Lala War, that, that, there, that there's no difference. Town Hall 10s, Town Hall 9s, Town Hall 11s. Everyone's doing Lala this war. Um, so check this out, guys. This attack, I love this attack right here. So we went ahead and dropped a baby dragon and one wizard to help set the foot on this side. That baby dragon is going to go go ahead and take out the archer tower. CC Golem down. We dropped a few wizards to take out the two elixir storages just to make sure we had this funnel set nice and tight. Two balloons went ahead and took out that archer tower and we had a baby dragon again just to make sure we set the funnel. Um, we have a lot of key objectives on this entry that we want to take out. So we had to make sure that it was set. So the bowlers did not go walking. So bowlers under rage ripping through. Uh, we went ahead and took out uh, three Teslas. We're going to be getting two air defenses, an expo, the enemy queen, and of course the enemy CC before we go ahead and start this flight portion. Uh, bowlers got a couple hits on that inferno tower and that baby dragon even took out that wizard tower over there. Uh, so incredible value from that baby dragon. And once that cannon goes down, the defensive ring has now completely been broken. So now I'll go ahead and drop down three loons on each of these defenses. Three on the mortar, three on the archer tower, three on the mortar on the bottom, followed by two haste, a raid spell to push everything in to get to that air defense, and a one-shot that expo. A couple more loons in on the mortar and the archer tower. Hello! And then we have a haste spell in that core to take out the air defense. And this this bow right here was actually on ground. Not sure if it would have made a difference. Uh, a couple loons uh, did die to that archer tower along with um, from help from that red bomb. So the loons kind of had to unfortunately path down a little bit. But those loons, when they rebounded, they were still in that haste spell. They took out the bomb tower, uh, leaving about eight loons left up to take out that IT. They're going to get through that no problem. Um, and we did bring uh, five or six minions to help with cleanup along with the pups. But that was our one and only 10v10 of the war. Uh, shout out to me on that one. But that's going to do it. As you guys see, this war is still going on right now. And as far as the three star count, it is 17 to 20. Uh, Red Elfino playing a very solid war. They have, I think, three, if not four 10v10s. But this is Fortune Steel's all Lala war. Definitely stay tuned or check the war log if, if you guys are curious to see if we won. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And any comments down below. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS. And I'll see you in the very next video.